If you're looking for the best sports memorabilia and card break room on the internet, you've come to the right place. Welcome to Ultimate Autographs Live Break Room. Tonight's action will move fast, so we want to prep you for what you're about to see on your screen. First, the all-important dice roll number. At the top of the show, the host will randomize a series of numbers. The number selected from the randomizer will become the dice roll number for the entire show. Meaning every mystery box that is broken, the names of every collector will be placed on a list and randomized using the dice roll number for the show. Next, you see this black ticker down here? This shows you which numbers are still available in each and every Ultimate Autographs mystery box series. When a break fills or sells out, the host will ask for a number. This is where you make your selection from. Simply type a number in the chat and the host will pick the first number they see. Throughout the show, you may see two different types of breaks, divisional and top spot. Divisional breaks are most common. In this format, all eight individuals who enter a football theme break will be positioned next to one of eight football divisions after their names are randomized using the show's dice roll number. When the mystery box is opened, the football division of the team represented in that mystery box becomes the winning division. The lucky collector whose name is randomly placed next to that football division takes home the signed piece of authenticated memorabilia. Our top spot format is typically reserved for giveaways, college theme series, and non-football breaks. In a top spot break, all names are added to a list. They are randomized using the show's dice roll number. At the end of the randomization, the name at the top becomes the winner of the signed item or prize. Breaking sports memorabilia has never been easier or more fun than it is in Ultimate Autograph's live break room. Remember, Every mystery box series you see on the show can also be purchased as a personal mystery box that is either shipped directly to your home for you to open, or you can request to have it opened on a future Ultimate Autographs Live Breaks broadcast. Also, while you're waiting for your break to fill, we encourage you to look around ultimateautographs.com to see if you find a piece of memorabilia you love and want to add to your collection. And don't forget, Every live break spot you purchase automatically earns you 6% back in UA cash that you can later exchange for a mystery box or a signed item of your choosing. All right, the time has come. Let's break some certified authentic sports memorabilia in Ultimate Autographs live break room. Tell them, boys. And from our studios in suburban Chicago in Burr Ridge, Illinois, it's Ultimate Autographs Live Breaks. Welcome in, everybody. How you doing on this Saturday? It's Joe. It's Matt. You got us until, I don't know, until you're tired of breaking boxes with us. So uh, good afternoon, everyone. Matt, how you doing? Joe, I'm doing well. It's a uh, beautiful sunny day. It's warm outside. Can't, can't, can't get much better than that. And you know what this weekend is? I... Matt, go ahead and say it. <laughs> what, what day? What weekend is this, Matt? It is Flag Day it... weekend. Oh, there's a flag. It is Flag Day on Monday. So, uh, what, what's up, Anthony? Uh, yeah, we are celebrating. Yeah, it's true. We are celebrating Flag Day with a uh, our newest and most funnest um, series here at UA. It is the uh, Flag Day Extravaganza. Uh, my word. Uh, we have a 200-box series. Uh, if you joined us last night, you know all about it. With, 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 you were with uh, Donnie. And Matt, what's up, Christopher Wells? Hello to you, sir. Chris, uh, we have uh, 50 boxes, four series, 50 boxes. 50 times four is 200. We have a mixer, which includes uh, full-size helmets, no replicas or uh, no authentics, only replicas. Minis. We got photos, footballs. We have a few pylons there. That's that's the football mixer for the the flag day. Also have the authentic. Helmet series. We have the uh, Flag Day jersey series, and then the also the the Flag uh, Day um, uh, replica, the full full size. So uh, replica, full authentics jerseys, and the mixer. Two hundred boxes. You guys did I don't know a dozen or more more than a dozen last night. Yeah. Day one, round one. Yep. So we're doing that until the boxes sell out. 
Uh, yeah. And then the cool thing with this series is every time we do one of these series, you open a box, whoever wins the, the break, uh, there will be a flag, not one of these flags, but a little yellow flag, a little kind of construction flag in there. Uh, it'll have a player's name on it. And one of, uh, what, five players could be uh, Dak Prescott, Kyler Murray, Mike Singletary, Frank Gore, or Donovan McNabb. There are drawings for uh, those helmets. It's a, it's a Prescott authentic, a Murray authentic, a uh, Singletary replica, a Frank Gore replica, and a Donovan McNabb re replica helmet. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then you tell us if you want to be entering the drawing for that at the end of these, this series, or you just say, just give me 10 bucks in your way cash. So you let us know, assuming you win the break when we do one of those series. We have eight series in total on the website today. Not only those four with the, the that have the flag day theme, but you also have the uh, the past and present jerseys. Basically, our, our black box uh, complete jersey series, our starting lineup uh, series. Still have those boxes. The Danny Dimes, that's our platinum series. Our general black box or um, platinum box helmets, uh, authentic helmets, and then the living legends full size helmets as well. Just have two of those boxes left. We are at the end of that series. Um, we'll do the right dice roller in a second. First, yeah, you see there, right there, I have my flag to point to. That's our Dutch auction item for today. As you can see by the football card, that's my 1976 Kenny Anderson football card, all pro Kenny Anderson. That's the helmet. So the, the only, uh, the the glitch on the helmet today is, well, the auto's a little smeared. As you can see that right at the end there, where he, as the 14, they're a little better looking. You can see they uh, that's smudged, and and then this Bengal helmet lost a stripe, lost half a stripe, I guess, to fit the autograph on it. So this retails, brand new, in perfect condition, it retails at $105. We're going to, we have it right now starting at $80. It's on the UA Live Breaks page. Matt just made it active. So if you want it, go get it, uh, 80 bucks. If no one buys it. Uh, soon, like every 15 minutes or so, we'll drop the price. I don't know, another 10 bucks or so. Uh, let me run the Dutch auction video. Again, if you've been watching the show the last couple of weeks, you're probably familiar with it. But let's run the, the uh, video. It's about a minute long. And then we'll do the randomizer and we'll open a box. Let's, let's run the Dutch. Introducing Ultimate Autographs Dutch Auction. So, you're probably wondering, what is Ultimate Autographs Dutch Auctions? And how do Dutch auctions work? Well, it's pretty simple actually. Every once in a while, an oopsie happens, somewhere between the item being signed and the item arriving at Ultimate Autographs. These oopsies come in many shapes and sizes, like scratches, minor dents, or something very small that you can usually only see if you really pay attention. Because Ultimate Autographs prides itself on only providing collectors with the best of the best, we do not put these items in any of our mystery boxes, nor do we list them on our website. However, we know there are savvy collectors who are not worried about a tiny little scratch if it means they can get a big name for very cheap. Therefore, we go to Dutch auction these items with minor defects. When one of these items becomes available, it will be Dutch auctioned during the UA Live Breaks broadcast you're watching. As the show progresses, the price of the item will slowly lower until it hits rock bottom price. If you want to add the item to your collection, you can either wait until it hits rock bottom price, or you can snag it early, if you fear another collector in the room is interested in the item. To purchase the item at its current price, simply purchase it on the UA Live Break Room page like you would any UA Live Break spot. We hope you enjoyed this exciting game. Let the Dutch auctions begin. Veel geluk! Alright, there you go. So that's our Dutch auction. Kenny Anderson comes with a, a JSA COA. I'll throw in a little Kenny Anderson football card. That's worth at least eight cents right there, baby. At least. Um, and then, uh, there you go. So if you want that Kenny Anderson Bengals fan, Kenny Anderson, the 1981 MVP, played 16 years in the National Football League, all with the Bengals. So it might be a perfect little early Father's Day gift maybe for um, a yeah. Bengals fan. Although the, then your dad would probably say, why didn't you just get me one with no smudges on it? But that's besides the point. Um, didn't you say he led them to a Super Bowl? He did. It, that, that 81 season is best by far in his I mean, yeah, he had a really good career. Uh, but yeah, in 81, MVP. He also had the uh, hat trick, so to speak. That year, he was comeback player of the year, uh, offensive player of the year, and MVP. And then led them to the Super Bowl as well. Local guy for us, Batavia High School, Augustana College. So uh, good dude there, Kenny Anderson, seventy-two years young. Nice. Yes, Christopher Wells in the chat. You know when they're doing the top spot for the riddle break? 
Maddie just informed me that's going to be Thursday. Thursday with you and the Gear Bear. Yeah, I think it's going to be me and Garrett on Thursday. So that's the plan as of right now. So thank you for asking, Chris Wells. Let's start with the uh, the randomizer. You know the rule here: six or higher. Uh, Joe's rule would be two or lower, but it's uh, it's a six or higher. We'll do that, and then we will do a box. And we already got a box number called out for the uh, flag day mixer. Thanks for all, please. Let's be drum roll. Please. Six. Hey, hey, baby. Let's do four hours today with six. What do you think, Matt? Four hours show today. We'll do. Uh, we'll randomize six times. Uh, that works for me. That works for me. I did not rig the machine. I swear. I did not rig the randomizer. Let's do the uh, the first break of the afternoon here. Thank you, Chris, for asking. The uh, Flag Day Mixer number one. Again, it could be a jersey, could be a full-size replica helmet, could be a mini helmet, could be a football white panel, or a the I think we have one Super Grip, the brown Super Grip ball in there. Could be a pylon. Those are cool. You guys pulled one last night, the Hall of Famer Curly Cult, I believe you pulled, yep. or just just the one, right? Yep. We also got the 16 by 20s. Oh yes, the photos too. We got some dope ones, including a. Uh, Dual sign Mike Single, not Mike Singles, there. Brian Erlacher, Lance Briggs. Garrett, Garrett and I saw that in inventory a couple months ago. We're like, dang, I want it. Both of us were like, I want it. So that that's really cool though. Erlacher Hall of Famer, Briggs, maybe someday. Yeah. Uh, so there you go. All right, let's randomize these this list six times, and then uh, we'll open the box on the mixer. Eleven. And uh yeah, the box numbers are updated on the uh, on the crawl at the bottom of the page. You'll see them there. Doug called 11. Yeah, Doug and uh, Anthony's like, 11 is cool with me too. Four, five, and six. There we go. It's kind of steamy here in Chicago. Yeah. Right? Is that, was that, is that kind of the weather everybody's getting? For sure. Right, right. Let me grab box 11 here on the mixer and we'll get it going. It is definitely a little cooler in here today. Last night, Donnie and I were dying. So. <laughs> yeah, we got a fan in here. Not an actual fan, like a, you know, a fanatic. No, a real, a real fan that blows air. A real fan. We might have to give the fan a name. <laughs> Matt's like, maybe not. <laughs> I mean, if you mean it, by all means. Yeah, uh, Joe, go ahead, man. Kind of weird, but uh, 11 to 50. I can get behind that. I can tell you this box is so light, I can win uh, easily. Um, it is a light one. So I'm guessing it's, uh, well, what would you say? Could be a pylon. Could, could be 60 it, by 20. It could be, a, it could be a pylon because the pylon would be a, would, the note would say that. Yeah. So let's see. We actually have two pieces of paper in here. Your flag. And a flag. The flag, is, oh, it's, it's from the Dak Prescott uh, authentic drawing. Congratulations, you've won a 16 uh, by 20 signed photo of John Randall, the Hall of Famer. There you go. Dope. And then uh, if you have a flag here, oh, this is just kind of the instruction list of what to do next. So what we're going to do, so John Randall, Vikings, that's uh, Anthony Luizzi with the uh, NFC North at the John Randall. Let me get the John Randall photo. Yeah. And then, Anthony, you let us know, please, in the chat whether you want to be entered into the authentic uh, helmet break uh, for Dak Prescott. Or you just want ten bucks in UA cash? Let me grab the the John Randall. It's the uh, the sixteen by twenty. Yep. This is cool. This is actually pretty nice. Yeah, I don't blame you there, Anthony. Here it is. It's almost too big for the product cam, but you can see it on the. Uh, you can stick it in front of here if you want to, in front of the big camera. Ooh, there you go. How about this? Now, let me know if you can see this on the camera. Yeah. A little better? Um, give me a second. It's a little better. Just right there you go. Yeah. There you go. It says um, John Randall, Hall of Fame, 10, 90s, all ah. decade team. Is there a COA? There is a COA on the, ba COA on the back. Thank you, Matt, for pointing that. JSA COA with that. So, uh, I dig it. Anthony, I don't know if you're a Vikings fan or not, but uh, I think any Vikings fan would dig that, baby. Yeah, I know we got some Viking fans like Dusty and all those Dave Everdeen people are Viking fans, so. All right, let me write that down. Randall with the photo. 
hit for uh, for Anthony. Yep. And then we're going. Um, Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott drawing. Yep. John Randall is um, the all-time leader in sacks from the defensive tackle position. Correct. We, we, we've had this conversation before, right? We have, yeah. Who's number two? Uh, Warren Sapp. Warren Sapp, you got it. And number three is our boy. That's right. Uh, Steve Mongo. Mongo. Steve McMichael. Yeah. Nice hit in the mixer. Thank you, Anthony. Congratulations. We put that in the box. A lot of paperwork on that one. First break of the afternoon, the Flag Day Mixer. We did fill out the wrap. Beautiful. We'll do another Flag Day. And that was box uh, 11. 11. Let me take that off the uh, the mixer. Who Go played the, screen. the original Mongo? I'm not sure. What oh, I, I know the... Uh, you're going to have to explain that. Bob, what's up, what's up going on, Bob? The original Mongo in Blazing Saddles, if you're referring to that, Bob, I assume you are, Blazing Saddles, have you seen that movie? Old, old, old one, comedy. It's, it's very oh, slapstick-ish. What's his name? Uh, you know, former yeah. Detroit Lion. But he, the guy uh, from Willy Wonka, right? Is that Blazing Saddles, or am I thinking of something else? Uh, Blazing Saddles, was it, uh, who was, uh, was it... What's the guy from the original Willy Wonka? Uh, Gene, Gene Wilder. Gene Wilder. Is that was Gene Wilder and Blazing Sad? I think so. Right? But it was uh, the guy who is uh, Alex Karras. You know the name Alex Karras? Yeah. Alex Karras who played... Uh, Did he go to U of I? Uh, no. I don't know if he went to U of I. We'll okay. have to look that up. Go but ahead. Alex Karras, um, ferocious defensive tackle for the Lions, way back, even before Joe's time. Okay. Uh, probably like in the 60s, Alex Karras. And then he played, remember the TV show Webster with little Emmanuel Lewis? That was before, well, it was way before your time. That was like 80s TV. But he played the dad. They, they, he and his wife adopted this little kid. Okay. Uh, and he was married, Alex Karras was married to uh, uh, Susan Clark, who was an actress. And they played the act. So they were actually married on the show and married in real life. Uh, Alex Karras passed away. But um, I've heard anyway, he played, he played Mongo in Blazing Saddles. Really? Be Mongo. Right, Bob? That's what you're thinking. Oh, yeah, the see, yeah. The scene around the camera. Yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah, he has passed away, you're right. Susan Clark, there she is, yeah. Susan Clark, she's a pretty lady. He was a cool dude, Alex, Alex Kurz. Yeah, he was in a lot of movies. Yeah, he actually had a pretty, I mean, again, he had a pretty good acting career pro football. Yeah, absolutely, right? One of the best comedies of all time. It's, it's just funny. It's so, uh... Like the stuff they said that movie today, you yeah, just could not get away with today. I'm sure. Uh, it's awesome, though. He looks like a bad dude. Yeah. Six times today on the randomizer, and then we're going to do the uh, another Flag Day uh, series here. Five and six. There we go, guys. Gene Wilder, isn't it? Oh, yes, okay. Yeah, so you're right, man. You know you you're doing. Mel Brooks, of course. Box five that was called out by George. What's going on, George? Five. This is the uh, the replica. I think five is the first one in there, right? Five on the mix on that the mixer, the uh, the replica. Let me take five off the list here. And Harvey Corman. That's he's oh a, yeah yeah. He's from uh, Carol Burnett. You got it. You got it. The great Harvey Corman. He's also passed. Flag day ref five. We're doing. This is what a, what a name this is. Slim Pickens. Oh, yeah. What a name. <laughs> Slim Pickens. Replica box five. What's all we at the bottom? Nineteen seventy four. Nineteen seventy four blazing sounds? Yeah. It was Cleveland Little, right? Is that the, the main uh, actor? Was it Cleveland Little? Yep. Box five in the uh Flag Day replica. Happy Flag Day! I mean, if we're doing a Flag Day series, we gotta have an actual American flag. That's what is that? That's why it's called Flag Day, right? It's not because of the yellow construction flags that are in the boxes. No. It's not that Flag Day. 
All the construction guys are like, how come we don't get a flag? Come on. All right, we do have lots of stuff in the box. First of all, there, there's a flag. Ooh, ooh, it's another DAC. It's another, it's another, there's, there's a little DAC flag. Authentic. This could be a good one. Instructions, what to do. But we're, we're going to take care of that. So here, let's see what we have here. It is a helmet. Just in, a, just in a different bag. Yeah. It's a, a JSA COA. And this, if I can open the bag, is a uh, Philadelphia Eagle. This is the uh, young running back, Miles Sanders. On a uh, replica helmet. Oh, it's an Eclipse. Rep helmet, Miles Sanders. Uh, and a cool uh, green paint pen there. Eagles hit there. NFC East is Chris, is it Bar Barletto, right, Chris? Yep. Chris What's up, Chris? Chris, are you new to the ranks? First time I've seen that name. Uh, no, he's... Maybe not? He was new this week. New this week, okay. I think so. What's going on, Chris? Miles Sanders' uh, rep helmet here. Cleavon Little, that's exactly it. Who was in, uh, the, really the lead in Blazing Saddles. Chris, do you want Let's the go. Uh, do you want the UA cash or do you want to be entered into the spot? Yeah, Chris, let us know. You want to be so uh, you win this, you win uh, not only this, but either an entry into a uh, Dak Prescott authentic helmet break or ten bucks in UA cash. The UA cash you can apply that to anything once it's applied to your account at the end of this series. From Delaware, awesome. Well, Chris, uh, glad you found us. Welcome into uh, Ultimate Autographs in our live break room. Let us know what, what he wants to do, Chris. He wants to be entered. Entered for the uh, the DAC. Don't blame you. we Will do. Thank you. You can't really lose. I mean, 10 bucks UA cash or a spot or a chance to win a DAC Prescott. Either way, you're winning. So, I mean, you're winning. Yeah, right? I mean, you the, the, the DAC, obviously, I mean, if, if you win that, I mean, that's a huge bonus. I mean, that's a, a freebie, right? Um Because ten bucks is ten bucks, no matter which way you you save, you're saving money there with ten bucks, even. Yeah, I mean the ten, the ten bucks is cool. It's a win-win, right? I mean, you could. I mean, I guess you you could say enter me in the in the drawing, and you could lose, and you come away with nothing. But it's like you're basically paying ten bucks for a, a, a raffle ticket to win a Dak Prescott right. authentic. You can look at, look at it that way, I guess, as well. The Sanders helmet is cool. Dig yeah. it, right? We'll put, we'll put you in there. You can have two. Ten bucks is ten bucks. Oh, I gotta use the Matt Matt line. What's the gambler line? Uh, never, never laugh at a profit. That's correct. Never laugh at a profit. So, I've told the story before. I think I've told the story before. Um, you know, people pick up. You're, you, are you a guy who picks up? It's okay to, to admit it. You, you pick up pennies when you see them, like in the, in the parking lot or something like that. Um, find find this penny. Like, hey, I'm picking that up. Sometimes. Yeah. My wife does it. She'll say, hey, a penny's a penny. So oh, one of my good friends, a high school tennis player, was a really good high school tennis player. He, uh, his coach always picked up uh, pennies. And my buddy was just like, you know, embarrassed by it. He goes, coach, why do you do that? He's like, hey, McLean is his last name. McLean, a hundred of these is a buck. And my buddy said, coach, I'll give you a buck if you stop doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he did. <laughs> See, there you go. There you go. About 150 bucks at poker last night. There you go. It's a nice profit. Nice. Beautiful. Hey, if it's a buck or a buck or 150. One buck or 150. All good. Right. That's that's the uh, the bottom line, right? <laughs> that was Rep Helmet. Thanks for filling that out. And uh, congrats to Chris Barletto. It's a cool name. Chris Barletto. On uh, the uh, flag day jersey, or the uh, the replica. I'm sorry. Now we're gonna do jersey. Jersey one is filled up. So let's do the let's do the jersey. I did take that off the screen, didn't I? Did I take the uh, jersey number five? I took five off. I think I did. I did. Who's who uh, who started UA? Well, uh, Team Salas, uh, Matt, uh, and Dave. Um, it's their company, along with their father. Not Matt and Dave. 
Everding. Yeah, yeah, and not Dave Everding. Uh, they Stop. started the company many years ago, maybe eight, ten years ago, close in that ballpark. Something but the like UA that. Brakes did not start. I want to say about not even two years ago, and it was uh, the Don Father of the Breaker. That's why we call him the Don Father. Donnie Rollins started it. Yep. He and another young guy, talented guy, forgot his name. They started doing the brakes. Not quite two years ago. It didn't look like this. It was much different. Much different. But um, yeah, if you guys ever see Matt, Matt Salas's name in the chat, that is the owner, one of the owners of the company. So uh, Matt and Dave Salas are the two owners. Yeah, yeah, the brothers. They're brothers, they're and brothers. their dad is also involved uh, in the business as well. Six times on a randomizer. Where did Maddie come from? I'm assuming you're saying Matt Salas. Um, or this Matty. I don't know. Do you know where Matt Salas is from? Uh, I'm not sure if they're local guys in the Chicago area or not. Maybe he's talking about you. Are you asking about me or Matt Salas? This Matty. Um, where did I come from? I am where good friends. Where did he come from? <laughs> I am good friends with Garrett. Uh, I've known Garrett for a little while now. Um, with this whole pandemic thing, I lost my job and he recommended it. And that's, I live about 15 minutes from here, so. Bang. <clears throat> that's, how, that's how I got here. He is fit in seamlessly. Yeah, I mean, I, True love, story. I love sports, love being around all this stuff, so. It's, um, it doesn't feel like work. No. When well, you're talking sports all day. Right. Life is good. How about a box number here? We're going to do uh, the Flag Day jersey live break number one. If you're in this break, we got Anthony's got two spots here. George Nestor's got a pair of spots. Matthew Short. What's up, Matthew? Travis and Steven. George calls out 10. That a boy, George. Thank you, sir. 10 on the box for the, uh, the jersey. 10. Let me grab 10. Bob, what do you mean? You guys at the National this year. I don't know what that means. Does that mean the National a national show? Oh. The national trade show? Or memorabilia show? I don't know if we are. I'm not sure. If Matt Salas is in the chat, he might be able to tell you. Matt, hello. Matt Salas. Yeah, the show. I don't... Um, where, where is the show? I don't even know. We, we, we you know there's a big memorabilia show out here at Rosemont, which is right by O'Hare Airport. Uh, but they didn't have it last year, obviously, because of COVID. I don't know. if I don't think they're having it this year. I could be wrong, but I haven't heard anything about it. What's up, Matthew? Let's do uh, box 10 here, Flag Day Jersey Mixer. Good luck, everyone, here in the break. Matthew Shore, what's up, man? Steven Center. I don't know what the Steven Center Oh, the Chicago Steven Center. Oh, that's yeah, that's the uh, yeah. Donald in Rosemont. Yeah. Rosemont. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, this one is for the uh, the Frank Gore replica helmet. So this again, if you win this break, it's either uh, you want to be entered into that drawing or ten bucks in UA cash. This uh, jersey will come with the uh, Beckett COA right there. There's the instructions we have here. We have a Viking. This is a uh, Travis with the Paul Krause hit. Travis is it? Uh, how much? Heimlich? Travis, what's going on, man? Paul Kraus, the Hall of Famer. This, uh, this is a Joe Aguilar guy. This is old timer, baby. The career leader in interceptions. Yes. You're like, really? Yes, it's Paul Kraus. Travis, what's going on? Look, 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 again, the auto, fantastic. HOF 98 on there. It's a beauty. You got any cards still or no? You all have them. Oh, I do. I'm going to grab my uh, old uh, Paul Krause jersey here for Travis and throwing that in for free just so I can declutter. Are you, you're out of the run Yaris, though, right? I think I have some Yaris left. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I think I do. This is the uh, Paul Krause jersey. Travis, let us know. If we don't hear from you, we're just going to. I think we're just going to give you the 10 bucks you weigh cash. Yep. So if we don't hear from you and you win a break, uh, you have it to the rest of the show. Uh, let us know. Travis, uh, unless we don't recognize your last... Is that you right there? No. Paul Krause, digging it. That's a good, uh, that's a good purple on this jersey, isn't it, Matt? Yeah, it is. It's good looking. If it were in that riddle box, you would blend right in. Because we had a lot of purple in that box. <laughs> 
<laughs> yep. Is that you, Travis? There you go, Travis. That, is that you right there? Is it? Yep. Okay. Travis, um, you want to be entered into the uh, the, the drawing for the uh, the Frank Gore replica helmet, or do uh, you just want us to credit your account ten bucks after this series is done? You, you get, uh, Travis, you get the uh, you get the Paul Krause jersey. That's yours, and then you can either be entered into a drawing to win a Frank Gore uh, replica helmet. I think it's a Niners uh, Gore, uh, or the town town box. You'll take the entry. There you go. Yeah, it's a, it, that'll be a top spot break. So I think it's a I think it's an eclipse too. Let me check the website. I think that's one of the headliners. Well, it's not a headliner, but. Um, I think it's a, I think it's a gore um, eclipse replica. But anyway, we got you down there, Travis. For the, uh, the Frank Gore. Thank you, man. All right, John. I think we got a personal. Beautiful. Uh, Tony, the UA Cash will. Are you talking about the uh, for this for this series, the Flag Day series? The Flag Day series uh, will not be distributed until oh, we finish the series. Oh, the the Survey Cash, yeah. Um, oh, the survey Cash, sorry. Yeah, that's the Survey, which I think was it was it ten bucks to fill out the Survey we asked about two or three weeks ago. That should be coming soon. Uh, if anyone from UA customer service is listening, maybe they'll chime in. If not, we'll try to get an answer to that. Is the UA cash fixed yet? Christopher, uh, not to my knowledge. I don't know if it was... I don't know what's uh, what's going on with that. Dave Everding would know. Because Dave handles pretty much 90% of our customer service. But uh, that question's probably better off... Um, will be better answered if you just email customer service at ultimateautographs.com. Customer service at ultimateautographs.com. I would think... The survey, because that was like, are we talking three weeks now? That's got to be coming real soon here. And then I know for this series, if, if, if you want to, with the flag day, if you want that, that's probably not going to be until after we finish this up. Right. So hopefully that, uh, again, sorry I can't be uh, answer that question a little better. Let's do uh, the personal, huh, Matty? Yep. We got Brad. What's up, Brad? Flag day mixer. Brad, if you're in the chat, let us know a box. That was the jersey. Paul Krause digging it. Oh, the Krause. Hold on. Man, I almost forgot. Is that Travis, right? Travis, yeah. I got to throw in a Paul Krause card. Because I, I, I got to get rid of this stuff. And then I have, I have, a, I have a question. 23, Brad, I'll grab it. Hopefully we got it. Yeah, ask me that. Are haircuts like this still in style, you think? I say that facetiously. Because this haircut today... You walk into a barber's, hey, give me the Paul Cross cut. Give me the Paul Cross cut. They're like, bro, no. What, what, is, what a stance. This is that, all right, 1976 tops, Paul Cross. Uh, 6'3, 200. Played, I forgot he played at Iowa, Iowa Hawkeye, Paul Cross. There you go. All time leader in interceptions. He had 12 as a rookie with the Redskins in 64. Wow. 12! Dang it. All right, Brad called out 30, uh, 23, the Michael Jordan box. 23 on the mixer. I think I've got to go in the back room and check uh, if I got that. Give me uh, 10 seconds. I'm not as fast as Matt. He'd probably be back in 7. So let me check 23 on the box for the mixer. 23 on the mixer. I'll be right back. Yeah, Chris, it's um, it's unfortunate, man. You just got to embrace it. It's uh, unfortunately a part of life for some people. I got it. So and it's impressive. pouring outside, man. Is it hope, really? Hope you rolled up the windows on your car. Are you serious? Yeah, it's pouring. Twenty-three. No, the boxes in here are like filling up, filling up the room. You can't see out the window. Twenty-three. So this is Brad Eggers' personal. Thank you, Brad. 
<laughs> Chris Wall. I haven't had to worry about my hairstyle in years. It's ball around. <laughs> That's why I tell Maddie to grow the hair when you can, man. You got that long Jesus look to it, go for it, bro. <laughs> because someday, either you lose it, or it goes gray, or both. <laughs> That's fun. All right, Brad, here you go. The flag is, um, this is the Donovan McNabb wrap. So, the, either you get into the drawing, or... Uh, or you give, give you 10 bucks. So this, I'm going to get this out of here. Brad, here's something you don't see every day. You've won a uh, autographed uh, pylon uh, by Dante Hall, the uh, the great return man, the human joystick for the uh, former Kansas City Chief. Matt's going to grab it right now. Pylons are something we've been getting more and more of. Uh, they're kind of fun. They're at an actual pylon. Um, here you go. Thank you, Matt. Yeah. So, Brad, this is kind of fun here. This is the, the pilot. There's the auto. Dante Hall, the great uh, former chief. And there you kind of probably see it better on the uh, the cam with me and Maddie on it. But, yeah, that's a pilot. Uh, it's, it's got a, if you can see that, it's a, a PSA hologram COA on it. But, yeah, you know what, see, people get these, you know what they're all going to want to do? Grab a football and go like this with it, right? You want to, like, Everyone's going to want to do that. Because I see these in the back, and I just want to grab a football and just for fun pretend like, oh, what the football? Oh, yeah. Touchdown, Aguilar. Yeah. <laughs> what can I say, right? So so there you go. So, Brad, also with that, you're welcome. Thank you, man. Let us know. The uh, the McNabb replica helmet drawing or, or 10 bucks. Let us know in the chat, Brad. Hype Man Henry. I'm going to go with the uh, the Tampa Bay Lightning. I have been saying that for a couple weeks. I think they're going to repeat. They're a good team. They're a good hockey team. They got Kucherov back now. They're going to be a tough team to beat. Isles and Seven. Smoking like a true New Yorker. <laughs> well, I guess Bob's from New Jersey, but still. There you go. And, and Brad, I got that. Uh, thank you. We, uh, we'll put you in the drawing for the uh, Donovan McNabb uh, helmet. And there's the PSA uh, COA, Brad, that comes with it. Cool piece, right? You can fit that anywhere. You just, that, that's the nice thing about the pylons, too, right? You fit them. Yeah. It should be a deck that. decoration in the house. Oh, anywhere. Put that in the living room. Honey, got something for the living room. It's pretty cool. I'm going to dig it. <laughs> right? Yeah. That'll get, that'll get you sleeping on the couch. <laughs> Honey, can you please put away the pylon? <laughs> Take number two. Oh, we got another personal for Nestor's got a personal coming in here, too. Beautiful. Yeah, I love like that, that nickname in the chat. Hype, Hype Man Henry. Oh, and I like the Canadian team, too. But Tampa... Yeah. I don't think the Canadians... I, I agree with you, Manny. I don't think the Canadians are going to beat the Golden Knights, so... Um, oh, Vegas... Darn, good. I think it's going to be Vegas and Tampa Bay in the finals. Well, I believe for the uh, the Avalanche, huh? Such a great team. They got they seemingly of all the pieces. This should be their cup yeah. run, and darn it. But Vegas, they're tough. They're, they're physical and they're fast. Yep. Fast. Speed is everything, right? You see with the Chiefs in football, great hockey teams, right? Yep, absolutely. Are right, we gonna do uh, a Nestor? Or we got a, we got a break filled out. Uh, we're gonna do Nestor. We'll do Nestor's personal. Yeah, Vegas man. And their and their uniforms are just killer too. Yeah. I guess love the Vegas uniforms. Well, and just watching their games, I think it seems like everyone's just having fun. They got a cool environment. Yeah, right. It's just a, it's right. A, it sounds like a fun time. The NHL got it right by expanding to Vegas. They sure did. Great point. We'll see how well it goes in Seattle with the, uh, yeah. the Kraken starting up in like, what do you 20... Think, what do you think of that name? I don't like it. I don't like it either. I, don't, I, don't, I kind of don't, don't get it. Uh, and even the logo, it's just a K, right? Isn't it the logo? It's just, I, I don't know. Yeah. It doesn't, doesn't do anything. It doesn't look like a hockey. There's got to be some kind of hockey stick or something in there. 
Uh, Nestor, uh, how about a box number on the on the personal here for the mixer? He said number 12, it looks like. Uh, did he say 12? Did I miss that earlier? He said, I'll, hey guys, I'll take number 12 on my personal. 12, I'm sorry, I missed that. Do I have 12 in the room on the mixer? Uh, I do, I have it in the room. Uh, I think I do. Oh, there they are. The boxes are everywhere. They're everywhere. Yeah, the personals too, just as a reminder, um, you know, we, we bring the boxes into the room um, in a numerical order, you know, ascending order, you know, start at one, two, three, etc. On personals, um, we'll go up, we'll pick any number, assuming we have it, it didn't go retail or it didn't go in another personal. So this, for example, most most of the series, as you probably know, to our 50 box series, uh, this one with 50, you could have gone up to, go up to 50, I got assuming we have it in the back, we'll always go check the back, so back room uh, inventory for it. So here we go. This is Nestor Rodriguez's personal flag name mixer 12 of 50. And uh, let's see what uh, what the flag says as far as uh, the, the drawing for a, a helmet here. Is it heavy? It's um, it's light. The The drawing will be for a um, oh, another Donovan McNabb. A M M McNabb rep, Nestor. Uh, we got a mini. We got a mini. Let's see what it is for Nestor. Oh, it's a nice one. Nestor, I think you got you're gonna be happy with this. This is a back at COA. This is a this is a dope one. How about Kyler Murray? Kyler Murray, there you go. Boy, Nestor, not only has he been winning a lot, but just some fire, fire memorabilia. How about Kyler Murray is that a, is that a on a looter? That's a headliner. There it is. That's a headliner. Uh, thank you, Maddie, pointing it up. Look at this baby. That's awesome. That's a banger. Donnie likes it. It's a banger, Rollins likes to say. Yeah. Wow. She. <laughs> yeah, that's a sheesh. That's the boys' new line. Yeah. Sheesh. I, I can't. I, my voice can't get that high to do the sheesh. <laughs> but, uh, Nestor. The Kyler. Well, you picked it, man. You, you picked the right number. I'll say that. Yeah, Chris, we uh, we miss Nikki in many ways. She's uh, her handwriting, especially. <laughs> uh, yes, Chris, you, you're you're spot on with that. She she, uh, she does have a master's degree from the Curtis Martin School of Penmanship, uh, Nikki. Uh, we miss her for a lot of reasons, but that was one of the underrated reasons why we miss her. That's true. The, the penmanship. Uh, fantastic hit here on the personal for Nestor. Uh, and Nestor, you'll uh, you'll do the drawing as well for the uh, the Murray. Yeah, I've heard uh, Henry about Swayman or Swayman, however you say it, for the Bruins. He's the future goalie, future goalie there in Boston. So, yeah, is Tuka is, is he done? Tuka Rask? I think his contract is up. I think he is right. Yeah, I think he wants to stay in Boston though. You see what Taylor Hall said about his contract? Like, it's not all about the money. He's made a lot of money in his career. He wants to be find, find a place where he's happy. Yeah. Sounds like he's coming back then, doesn't it? Right. To Boston. Yeah. Oh, it is pouring out there. Yeah, we can hear it now. That's for congrats. That's a uh, fantastic hit there on the on the uh, personal. Uh, speaking of mini helmets, Mal, let's, let's, let's lower that price on when you have a minute on the uh, Kenny Anderson. Okay. Kenny Anderson, uh, this is our Dutch auction item today, if you didn't see it earlier. Kenny Anderson, 1981 MVP, Bengals QB. Uh, the auto on the right side, you can see it right below the 14. Uh, it's smeared. I don't know, it somehow got some of the, the paint on the auto came off. And then, uh, oddly, this Bengal helmet lost part of its stripe. I don't know if it was shedding or, or what happened. But maybe they took it off to fit the, uh, the, uh, the auto so we could <laughs> sign it. Odd. It's a little odd, but uh, there you go. So the Kenny Anderson, uh, we it's a retail uh, for one hundred five dollars. We dropped at the start of the show to eighty. Let's make it seventy. I made it seventy earlier. Oh, it's seventy earlier. Oh, you about, did already. Oh, you... About twenty minutes ago. Yeah. Oh, you did. Okay. You want to drop it again? Sure. Let's drop it to sixty. Um, sure. Sixty. Sixty bucks. It's still a cool piece. Kenny Anderson, 16 years in the National Football League, all with the Cincinnati Bengals. You know, put it on a show. It's still cool. 
Yeah, there you go. Kenny Anderson Mini. Comes with the COA, of course. Comes with the Kenny Anderson football card, of course. There's the personal for Nestor. So Brad had the, uh, what was Brad's personal again? Oh, he had the pylon, right? The hall pylon? Yeah. He had the hall pylon. Nestor with the, jeez, uh, jeez. Uh, Kyler Murray uh, mini. That was f fire, baby. Uh, thanks, guys, for purchasing those. Flag Day weekend. Flag Day weekend. My wife has like 108 of these. I mean, this is like nuts. So you, you you celebrate Flag Day then? We do. Well, the Fourth of July, whichever comes first. And this way, it's it's Flag Day that comes first, because Fourth of July here is like three weeks away. But underrated Flag Day, underrated baby, but not by UA. We use the construction flags though. There you go. We're gonna do another, uh, another oh, our first authentic flag day, flag day authentic, beautiful. It's our first one of the afternoon on the authentics. Let's do this. Let's randomize the names, and now we will open our first authentic helmet box in the afternoon. Three, four, five, and. Six. There we go. All right, how about a box that we're here if you're in this break? Again, the for the authentics we have three, five, nine, and ten in the room. Anthony calls on four. Thank you, Anthony. Box four. Did you say four? I don't know if you said four. Um, actually, I don't have four. I got five. Five, there you go, Anthony. Five. Five on the authentic. Five on the authentic. Got it. You want to take that off the screen? Yeah, I'll take five off the screen for the authentics for the flag day. Still have our Danny Dimes platinum up there, too. The, um,. The Danny Yams are 53. The uh, These are 55 per spot. The Flag Day Authentic. Here we go. Good luck here. We got uh, Anthony, Matthew Short, Nestor's got a pair of spots here. Ryan Murray, George Dean, Paul, and Bob. Good luck, guys. The drawing here is going to be... Um, oh, it's another DAC. This is our third DAC drawing. So it's a DAC authentic for the drawing or again or ten bucks UA. Ten bucks UA money. Let's see what we have here on the authentic helmet. It's a back at COA. This is one of the best slot receivers in the game today. This is Cole Beasley. Cole Beasley with Bill's Mafia. Uh, the inscription right there by the the uh, the crown there, very nice, authentic. This is a uh, speed Riddell speed helmet, authentic, nice. Bills AFC East. Who's got the AFC East? That that's Bob. There you go, Bob. Go Bob. There you go, Bob. Cole Beasley, nice hit here. AFC East. Does Mike Brewer say bang? Yeah, right? That's a nice one there. And Bob, let us know if you want uh, 10 bucks UA cash or uh, an entry into the uh, spot for a, a Dak Prescott authentic helmet. Nice hit there, Cole Beasley, big auto. He's challenging Bernie Kozar there for a uh, uh, big auto. <laughs> nice hit. Maybe uh, this guy will be a Super Bowl champ next year. What do you think? Possible. Could be. They got a good shot, right? 
They stay healthy. It's a nice team, Buffalo has. Nice team. Can I ask how many entries would be there for each helmet? That's a great question, Bob. Uh, really depends. Well, I, let's put it this way. There are 50 boxes in each series. So, so this, so again, it's, and it's five players, right? It's, um, let me pull that up for you. Let me get that list. So the, uh, the five, so there are five players, uh, Dak Prescott authentic, Kyler Murray authentic, Mike Singletary rep, Frank Gore rep, and Donovan McNabb rep. So um, let's do the math there. It's, it's 200 boxes. It's five. So it really depends on how many people choose. So it's probably on average, it would be, well, five, five guys. So it would be 40. 40. So there are 40, right? 40 Dak Prescott entries potential, 40 of each player. Right, 40 times 5 would be 200 if you're following me. But if someone just wants the UA cash, it would, it would be less. So, so maximum, it would be 40 spots. Minimum, it, it, it depends really on how many people choose the entry spot. Um, so it could be a 1 in 40 shot if everyone chooses to be entered into the, the break, to the, the drawing. Or it could be less than that. Right now, it seems like everyone's toward, leaning toward the entry spot. But, you know, uh, so really, that's, I guess that's the question. That's the decision you have to make. So max it would be 40, but I don't, I'm assuming some people would want the UA cash. Could be wrong. And again, you, if you win multiple times, obviously, um, you know, I mean, you, there's no limit. You, you know, you can win three Dak, Dak Prescott spots in, in theory, right? Mm -hmm. So that was the uh, whole B. He wants, he wants the spot. You want the spot. Mm -hmm. Uh, that was the uh, that was yeah that was the deck. Um, yeah, there you there you go there you go could happen, boss. So thank you for uh, for answering that question and congrats on the Cole Beasley hit. All right, we uh, you bet. Thank you, Bob. Is there a question in the chat there that I missed there? No. About, uh, is that just something else going on? It's just Gabriel. Is that our guy, Gabriel? Mm -hmm. Gabriel, what's up? How's Pickles? Pickles is the dog. We met Pickles, yeah. Yes, Pickles is adorable. Pick, we could have had, pick, we would have put camera, uh, Pickles on camera. I bet we'd have sold out two breaks. Just because who doesn't like looking at a puppy? I look at a puppy and I want to buy break spots. It's just. That's how it works. Huh? Crazy if, how that affects you sometimes. I'll give a quick little rundown here. <laughs> live break number two for the Authentics wide open. Uh, live break number two for the Jersey, Flag Day jerseys. We got five spots remaining there. Live break number two for the Flag Day reps, seven spots. Live break number two for the Mixers wide open. Um, Living Legends number one, seven spots remaining. Live break number one for the past and present jersey. Five spots remaining there. Live break number one for the starting lineup. Seven spots remaining. And then live break number one for Danny Dimes. Six spots remaining there. So, got a couple of breaks that are... Got five spots left. All right. So, let us know if we can do more personals if you want. We can do personals for all these uh, Flag Day... Uh, uh, Flag Day series. Again, we have the Mixer, the Authentics, the uh, Platinums, and the Jerseys. The Mini, there are some Minis in the Mixer. So the Mixer, again, could have a pilot. We, we uh, pulled another pylon today. Mm -hmm. Could have the photos. We pulled the photo today. We did. Pulled the Jersey today. We did. So uh, lots of fun stuff in the Mixer. And then soon, maybe a couple weeks, we're going to have a multi sport Mixer again. And it's good. they're all killer. I think they almost seem Matt, they almost seem to be getting better and better, our mixers. Yes. With the uh, with the items in it, the multi sport mixers. Those are a lot of fun. But in the meantime, we got the football mixer. So there there you go, everyone. Let us know what you want to do here on this uh, Saturday, game one of two for us here at uh, UA, our our standard day night doubleheader here. 
Yeah. Back at 8 p.m. tonight with more fun stuff. Probably the same series. Look, we'll be breaking nothing new or debuting no series. We got these uh, Flag Day. Woohoo! Flag Day weekend. Flag Day is Monday. Display the flag. Matt, did you know? I think I read this today. The only state that acknowledges Flag Day as an official holiday is. Ultimate Autographs. Ultimate Autographs. We're one state. We're a state of mind, kind of, for most of it. Do uh, you remember the state? The state of Pennsylvania. You got it! So I guess people get off, um, get the day off in Pennsylvania on Monday. Paid holiday. Wow. Right? If you live in a PA, is that the, is that the, uh, is that the truth? Can I move to PA for like... We're moving for the weekend. Week. Then we're coming back Tuesday. You're going to get the paid day and then come back. <laughs> there you go. I also found this out about the flag. Uh, did you know when you properly fold the United States of America flag, it's 13 folds. That makes Each sense. represents a... The colonies? Not, uh, not the colony. What I read was like a... Um, uh, like we, we believe in God. Like a, um, like a truth. Really? Yeah. yeah. No, so they that. represent... I'm sure people in the military know that. But... Uh, oh... Uh, Pennsylvania is not a state, it's a commonwealth. That's, Bob, are you getting technical on me? Yeah, I'd say it's a state. There's 50 states. It, it's one of the 50. Pittsburgh, PA. It even has a uh, two, if it's got a two letter, uh, you know, word for the post office, it's, it's officially a state. That's my rule. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. Um, all right. So, yeah. Yeah, we probably should be... I mean, heck, Flag Day is when we adopted the flag. Yep. It was 11 months after they signed the Declaration of Independence. Right. So, why we don't recognize it, I don't know. Well, Maybe it's too... I don't know why. We celebrate so many other holidays. Don't get me wrong. I love holidays. Um, but that should be probably a little more uh, observed. But hey, at UA here, we need our we need our yellow construction flag. We got two hundred boxes for you. Two hundred, not a hundred. Two, two hundred. So that's the story. That's the story. We have to do some more research on that. Uh, the thirteen <laughs> folds. UA is the flag day legal. <laughs> League leader. Thank you, Bob, right? Trust we are me. leading the league. We are leading the league. In Flag Day recognition. In fact, stripes do, uh, uh, the stripes do rep the colonies, and the colors red symbolize the, the hardiness and valor. White symbolizes the purity and innocence. There you go. We all need a day off. <laughs> Anthony, I couldn't agree more. Anthony, are you from Pennsylvania? Yes. Yeah, so 13 folds... In the flag. Do you know anything about the flat, the folding of the flag? You should be stationed there. So, Anthony, are you a military guy or a former military? military guy? Yeah, he's, yeah, he's active duty. I think. Active duty. God bless you. Yes. Thank you. Awesome. Do you, right. do you know anything behind the thirteen folds, Anthony? Luigi. Yeah, Anthony, can you confirm that right? It's the third. I, the article I read today was very good. It was by a national columnist, um, and I believe he also. No, I think he said the columnist. His dad was a former marine, okay. and it actually it was his dad who educated him and his brother. And they would go every flag day, and they would visit local um, cemeteries and place flags um, on the on the gravestones. Okay. And the col this columnist was like. Really in retrospect, real grateful of that because he uh, gained a better appreciation and understanding for those in the military. Yeah. Where when he was a kid, he's like, really? We got to get, how early? Because the dad would tap him, like at 6 a.m., you know, on flag day and say, let's go. He and his brother, like, yeah. dad, where are we going? A typical kid, right? right? But then as he got older, he, he appreciated that. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Anthony. Prefer, prefer, yeah. Each fold has a different meaning. Well, yeah, it's really I mean, something as Americans we should know that, but I don't know how many of us do. Maybe I'm speaking only for myself. I don't know. Yeah, it's. Um, yeah, there you go. You see that in the chat? 
Okay, yeah. The, 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 the first is eternal life. Yes, second is the belief in life. Because every military, once every somebody, somebody in the military passes away, everyone gets a flag and it gets mm-hmm. folded and you keep it. Obviously, your family yes. keeps it and stuff. And so, um, my grandpa was in the military. What, we, uh, what we, branch? He was in. Your grandfather? Yes. He was in the Navy in Korea. Nice. So, we have his flag. He passed away. So. Okay. Yeah, cool. my, my side, my, my oldest sister, her family, uh, uh, big uh, Air Force, big Air Force Air fan. Force. Yeah, it's worth right uh, going on Google, finding that information about the thirteen meanings for the uh, the flag. All right, I'll give you a little update here. A couple orders uh, came in recently. Nestor filled us out. Bang! Which uh, the jersey? The jersey, the flag day. There you go, Nestor. Nestor with a nice uh, personal today with the Kyler Murray Absolutely. Lunar Mini. Bang, bang. That was, uh, I think, actually 12, right on the, on the uh, mixer. And we still have that Kenny Anderson Mini. The Dutch auction is 60 bucks. 60 bucks. It's a little wounded, that helmet. A little game used that many, but uh, that's why it's sixty bucks. It's ready for you. Beautiful, thank you, Matt. Yeah, there it is. That's the uh, jersey. Oh, jersey, jersey number two. We got Mike. What's up, Micah? Matthew Short's got two spots in the Nestor. Uh, as Matt said, closed it out five spots in the uh, Flag Day jersey mixer. All right, not mixer, just the Flag Day jersey live break number two. So we'll randomize the names. And we'll do it. Three, only six times today. Joe's happy. Five and six. There we go. And all we need now is a uh, box number. Bob, you got the uh, Breeze Lunar full size. Sweet. Yeah, that is a beauty. Glad uh, glad you got it. And glad uh, it's always better. I mean, this, these cameras are great. They're, what do they call them? 5G? What do they call these cameras? They're, yeah. they're, they're big cameras. They're, they're dope. Uh, but nothing like seeing it up close, up, up close when you can hold it in your hand. All right, they're, they're, that's really cool. Just don't eat any Cheetos, Bob. Yeah, because though, you know. No Cheetos. No, no Cheetos because uh, yeah, anything smudges on those. Don't don't give them to the toddler or whatever. Yeah. They don't. They can't touch. No touch. Put it high on the shelf. White gloves only. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, like exactly. The, the white gloves only. It's like the Stanley Cup. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Nestor just goes around the our uh, Bob just goes around the house. Probably Nestor too. It's just with the white gloves holding it. Nobody touch it. Just look at it. <laughs> Then put it in a safe spot. It holds it above his head and kisses it. <laughs> like the Stanley Cup. Who wants to call out a box number here? Micah, Matt. It's only three guys here. Uh, Micah, Matthew, and uh, Nestor on the uh, Jersey number two live break. Matthew Short, where are you, man? Come on a box. We got uh, six, seven, eight, nine, and 11. There Thank he you, man. <laughs> Boy, he got nine. Nine on the Jersey. Let me grab nine. Nine. Who's your favorite night in football? Number nine. Nick Foles. Nick Foles. <laughs> well, Drew Drew Brees was nine, right? Yeah, he was. Drew yeah. Brees. Or, or we can see, we always call it the Bobby Hall, Gordy Howe box. Yeah. Or, or Drew Brees works too. Nine. nine. Let me take nine off the uh, the list there, off the screen. I always forget. I need a box number remover personal uh, assistant. Right. Nine. <laughs> Let's see what we have in the uh, the jersey. Let's see uh, who the football player for the potential for the draw. Oh, it's another. We're getting all the Donovan McNabb, Dak Prescotts today. Crazy. Oh, you can't see it. There you go. It's the Donovan McNabb wrap. 
the uh, PSA COA on this. That's that crazy. We've done like six boxes. I think all been McNabb or um, or Prescott. Here we have uh, this is a Chiefs hit. This is the uh, Hall of Fame offensive guard, the big dude, Will Shields, Chiefs, AFC West here. AFC West is, guess who? Nestor Rodriguez. Congratulations, Nestor Rodriguez, you've won. Congratulations, Nestor Rodriguez. We just play, playing that on a, uh, on, a on, on a loop. Nestor, congratulations, Nestor Rodriguez. Nestor, seriously, congratulations. Here's another, uh, this is a cool one here. Let me pull it out of the bag here. Will Shields. So that's number 68, right? Is that what that is? Uh, yes. It's not 89. The, the jersey. It's not 89, right? Yeah, it's at 68. A uh, great offensive guard number, right? Will Shields, Hall of Famer, Chiefs. So there you go. And then uh, look at this, this pretty dope auto. Will Shields, and you can see there. Where's my flag? I'm going to point with the flag. My flag pointer. Right there, it's at, he's got the 68 kind of with we'll that S and then kind of loops it into a 68. Uh, very cool. And then with the HOF inscription. Is that HOF, what is that year? Uh, looks like that's, um, I want to say that's 15, maybe? Class of 15. If I can read that handwriting um, correctly. And Nestor will take the entry into the... Uh, for the McNabb. Thank you, Nestor. Will Shields. Yeah, because he's not that old. I thought he was an older guy. Yeah, he's probably... Is he 50? Did you look him up? He turns 50 this year, yeah. Turns 50 this year. There you go. That was just a guess. Yep. Class. Yeah, offensive guard. I don't think he played tackle at all. So Shields probably made holes for a Christian Okoye, Priest Holmes, I'm guessing. That's probably that uh, that era. Priest Holmes, yeah. 90. Remember Priest Holmes? Yeah. He was a beast. He played from 93 to 06. So. 12-time Pro Bowler. Uh, Shields? Yeah. 12 times? 12 times. 12 times, wow. And he was, this is a prestigious one now. He was the uh, Walter Payton Man of the Year in 03. In what year? 03. 03, Walter Payton Man of the Year. I just like Will Shields a little more now. Yeah. Right? Right. You win the Payton? Seriously. Yeah, Hall of Fame 2015. Very nice. Where's my Nestor Rodriguez business card? So have, have, have those come back from the shop yet? I don't know. Maybe. We just need to save so much time. We'd save 10 minutes every night. Um, yeah, what? Nestor, congratulations, seriously. Bob's got a question for you, too. Joe, what do you uh, charge for? <laughs> um, I will, Bob, Bob, for you, because it's just like a regular, I would do it for uh, $32. It's my. It's my friendly customer service charge. I do it for all friends and family. I would give that. Um, no, no shipping and handling, though. No shipping and handling. <laughs> Honey, there's a knock on the door. It's Joe from UA. Can you do the folding? What's up, everybody? <laughs> I brought my own coffee and water. Don't worry about me. I'll just be folding. Don't tell my wife, because if she watches and she knows I fold, I've got a, I've got a long, talk about a long a laundry list. Um, to get up when I come home, so shh, shh. we'll just say some of that was that was someone off screen uh, folding uh, folding the jerseys. <laughs> Fill the mixer, y'all. Tony says, Tony, I'm with you, brother. Oh, look at my chair. Did you see my chair just drop? <laughs> What's with this chair? Look, I'm five nine. I don't need to be any shorter. I just shrunk. I went does like I'm like a Munchkin <laughs> land here. We represent. Oh, that's another. Thing. <laughs> hey, lollipop guild guys. Those those guys were tough dudes. Can you see the lollipop guild, the three linebackers on your team? They probably knock you over. Yeah. You've seen the Wizard of Oz. Oh yeah. Everyone's seen the Wizard of Oz. Lollipop guild guys. Yeah. I just felt like one of those guys in that chair. Just. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that's happened before. Yeah. It's nuts. 
I, I like feeling like I'm 5'10". I mean, that, that's tall for me. But I'm 5'9". And I'm probably shrink. I think you do shrink a little as you get older. Like, I'm not at that point where I'm, like, shrinking, but I think I'm on the cusp. You're on the cusp. I'm on the cusp. Another 10 years, I could see myself being 5'8". Oh, no. I know. Going the life, wrong way, man. Life is tough, let me tell you. But Matt's a good six, right? Yeah. Six foot, I think, is good height. I, like, I feel like depending on the day, I could be six one. All right. And that's, that's a good guy height. Depending on the day. Yeah. Right? Because I feel like some days I'm like 5'11". Sometimes... <laughs> It just depends, depends on how on, tired you are from the night before, right, maybe. Depends on and you day. feel like you're like, mm, yeah. 5'11 today. Got a good night's sleep, you're 6'1. Yeah, right, exactly. Mm-hmm. Got a good chair, you're 6'1. So you got to go on, on the day you feel good, you got to go to the doctor so they can measure you on that day. I'm one of those guys when I go, when I get a physical, like, uh, I pretty much strip down to a towel because I'm like, I'm not taking <laughs> the shoe, I'm not keeping the shoes on. I don't need to know. Yeah, I know I'm overweight. I get it, I get it. But those shoes, I mean, they'll add 15 pounds to the scale. 15. 15 pounds. 15. I'm telling you. Joe's like going we'll in for a boxing match, just taking all the clothes off I go to go to the doctor. Go to <laughs> uh, I knew it was four. <laughs> wow. Uh, the show is taking a turn. I know. I, I, I blame it on me. I blame it on me. It is Flag Day weekend, you know, everybody. Yeah, Flag Day, it is makes, flag day. It makes you do weird things. It does. How do you celebrate Flag Day? Besides yeah. hanging out at UA with us. I can honestly say I don't think I've ever celebrated Flag Day. You've never celebrated Flag Day? Have you? Wow. I didn't know that. See, again, that's that's not right. We should all know that. We, we should know it. I mean, I know what June it is. June fourteenth. I just haven't been like Flag Day. We should all know that. I mean, that's kind of not a proud moment for us as a country. We don't uh, know that. I mean, I don't anyway. There you go. There you go. That's how you celebrate. Throw the ball over your daughter. Oh, that's awesome. There you go. See, see, life is good. Life is good. Anthony, I'm assuming your daughter is, is, how old is your daughter? Is she young? When my daughter was little, I, she, my daughter was playing out her closet this weekend, and she, she pulled out this, the old, when she was three, I bought her a uh, Nomar Garcia Parra Cubs little jersey. She's not a sports fan at all. But when you're three, you just tell them what to wear, they don't, they don't fight back, right? <laughs> uh, so she had to, no, she's like, she's not getting, she's not donating, she's just going to box it up and, you know. But I'm glad she's keeping the Nomar Garcia Parra it's more three f- jersey. It's more, it's more like you. when she was three. Or five. Garcia Parra, five jersey when she was three. It's more for you than for her, probably. But. Yeah, I think she's saving it so I don't cry. <laughs> I'm going mudding tonight. What is mudding? Like off-roading, I'm guessing. Oh, there you go. That's the way to do it. Or you're just going around and just laying in mud. That's, which also could be fun. I mean, I'm not going to judge. You just, <laughs> we don't judge. You do what you want to do, man. It's Flag Day weekend. <laughs> Heading out, you guys back tonight. Thank you, Bob. Yeah, we'll be back here tonight. Uh, same duo, yeah. Matt and I, Game 2, UA doubleheader. We're back at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time tonight. Bob, thank you, man. Congrats on the win, too. The uh, Cole Beasley uh, Authentic. Yep. Bob won. Nice. Yeah, that will be shipped out to you on Monday. Yep. Stevie's not here today. Still, yeah, yeah. It's here tomorrow. Boxes it all up. Shipped out Monday. Yep. See you later. <laughs> See you, Bob. Thanks. God bless, man. All right, Joe. Matt, are we uh, we at the end of the uh, the show here? I think so. It slowed down a little bit. All right. Matthew, thank you, man. See you later. Have a good one, guys. We will give it a last call here. If you want to get a, sneak in a personal here, we got uh, got a couple minutes or so. We'll do that. If not, no, don't end it. Anyone else? Are we close to anything else, Matt? Um, do a little quick last rundown. Go ahead. We uh, still got the Kenny Anderson um, mini, the Dutch. Yeah, I think we've got uh, we're we're wide, and yeah, nothing is even close. Does anyone want it? We can negotiate with that Dutch if you want. Anyone, yeah, and, yeah. Go ahead, Matt. Anyone wants to throw a number maybe out in the chat? Uh, I don't know if Joe wants to show it one more time. Mm-hmm. Um, we can negotiate with you guys if anyone thing. Yeah, like let they, us know. I'll show you the Anderson helmet one more time. If anyone feels like they 
maybe have a price in mind we can negotiate yeah, we, with you. Yeah, we, we have a you know, management gave us a price we know we can't go lower than. But there it is, Kenny Anderson, 81 MVP. Uh, again, just a little, so the auto got smudged. Some of the paint on the, uh, that was signed with a black Sharpie. Uh, right, right there. Is when, I, when I tilt it that way, right by the, the, the jersey number, the 14. And that's it. And then that, again, with this, that stripe, they must have just taken that stripe off so we can put the auto, so we can give them a little more space to sign. But uh, that's it. Otherwise, it's, uh, it's like new. Again, it retails uh, for 105. We have it down to 60. Down Six, to 60. Yeah. 60 bucks if you want to throw a, a, a number at us. Uh, we can tell you yay or nay. But there it is. Comes with the COA, of course. Kenny Anderson football card. Let us know. We're back tonight. Tony, fill the mixer. How, much, how many are left in the mixer? I think he's the only one that's in the Are mixer. you the only one, Tony? Yeah, he's got two spots in the mixer. Tony's got two spots. If not, we will, uh, I'm sure it'll fill up by the... Uh, the start of tonight's show at 8 p.m. It's what time is it? It's uh, 3 3.15. Yeah. Uh, so we got a little less than five hours, if my math is correct, before the next show. So uh, let us know. And again, you don't have, you don't if you don't have to be present to win. If you if you buy into a break, and we don't uh, open the box, we, we don't open the uh, the box during the show. It just carries over to the next one. And you, and you don't have to be present tonight. If you got plans tonight, or whatever. If you got Flag Day weekend. Plans, we get it, we get it. Um, we uh, so we'll we'll let we'll let you know if uh, you win. Don't need it, no problem, Tony. All right, we got the last order was what, Matt? Okay, there you go. I might not be in the uh, comments, but if I win, I want a spot, uh, not the cash. Got you, Tony. Thanks for letting us know. Appreciate that. It's the yep. way to work it. We got you. Yeah, it's about about 15 minutes here since we uh, filled the spot. So I think we'll call it an afternoon, Matt. Yep. I think that's we, uh, we appreciate you guys and ladies hanging out with us this afternoon. Go celebrate Flag Day. Yeah. It's, it's officially is Monday. Officially is Monday. It's Flag Day weekend. It's Flag Day weekend, you know, right? In Pennsylvania, they're taking Monday off. Paid holiday. Not here, though. Not in Illinois. We're here. We are here. Are you here on Monday? Yeah. I mean, Matt's here five days a week. It's Flag Day, but we'll Flag be here. Day, we'll be here. Doors open, bars open. We'll see you tonight. Matt and I are back for game two. Yep. More fun stuff. Those were fun. We didn't do a ton of boxes this afternoon, but the flags, uh, it's, cool it's, stuff. It's, it's fun stuff. Yeah. Put some really, really uh, cool memorabilia we did. today. We did indeed. So thanks, everyone. We'll see you back tonight at 8 p.m. For Matt, I'm Joe. Have a good rest of your afternoon. We'll see you tonight. Got the U.S. Okay.